Zizi Kodwa Zizi Kodwa is a name that resonates powerfully in South African political circles. As a trusted figure within the African National Congress, ANC, Kodwa has worn many hats, including that of the country's Minister of Sports, Arts, and Culture. His journey from humble beginnings to a central role in government showcases not only his political acumen but also a life marked by strategic contributions to South Africa's cultural heritage. At 54, his achievements are a testament to his enduring dedication and hard work. But what about the lifestyle that accompanies such a career? Known for his eloquence and strategic insights, Kodwa enjoys a lifestyle that mirrors his progressive achievements. His net worth, while reflective of his professional success, is also a result of his steadfast commitment to public service and the values he's championed throughout his career. This exploration into his early life, family background, and career milestones sheds light on how Zizi Kodwa has cemented his place as a significant player in South Africa's socio-political framework. Early Life and Background Understanding the roots of Zizi Kodwa provides insight into his development as a significant political figure. His early life, education, and initial career stages laid the foundation for his contributions to South Africa's socio-political scene. Birth and Family Born on January 19, 1970, Zizi Kodwa hails from Gugulathu, a township located on the fringes of Cape Town in the former Cape Province. Growing up as the youngest of six siblings, his upbringing was shaped by the diverse dynamics of a larger family. His parents' resilience in the face of socio-economic challenges served as a significant influence, instilling in him a sense of determination and ambition. This familial environment nurtured his early interest in public service, driven by empathy and social justice. Education Zizi's educational journey laid the intellectual framework for his future endeavors. He pursued his academic interests at the University of the Western Cape, where he obtained a Bachelor of Arts Honors degree in Development Studies. This period was marked by a growing awareness of the political landscape that spurred his dedication to social and economic reforms. His education equipped him with the analytical skills and theoretical knowledge necessary to engage effectively in political discourse and strategy. Career Beginnings Before venturing into the political arena, Zizi showcased his talents in various fields that complemented his academic background. He initially made his mark in communications and strategy, utilizing his skills to bridge the gap between policy ideas and public understanding. This foundation in communications not only sharpened his rhetorical abilities but also allowed him to navigate the complexities of political messaging with finesse and charisma. These early professional experiences contributed significantly to his adeptness as a spokesperson and strategist within the ANC setting the stage for his later political achievements. Political Career Zizi Kodwa's political career is marked by a journey through numerous pivotal roles within the South African government and the African National Congress, ANC. His ability to navigate complex political landscapes has seen him steer initiatives in sports, arts, and the ANC's communication strategies, albeit not without public scrutiny. Minister of Sports, Arts, and Culture During his tenure as the Minister of Sports, Arts, and Culture, Zizi Kodwa focused on expanding South Africa's cultural footprint. He spearheaded the creation of the South African Creative Arts Awards, designed to highlight and celebrate the country's vibrant artistic community. By establishing these awards, he provided a platform akin to the Grammys, ensuring South Africa's artistic talents received recognition on both local and international stages. Kodwa also played a crucial role in promoting sports inclusivity. He championed programs that sought to integrate disenfranchised groups into mainstream sports, emphasizing the power of sports as a unifier. His initiatives like the 17th Annual South African Sport Awards not only celebrated past achievements but also set new benchmarks for future excellence. Acting ANC Spokesperson As the acting spokesperson for the ANC Kodwa held the reins on strategic communication during tumultuous periods. His role was paramount in crafting messages that resonated with the public, managing the political narrative, and maintaining party cohesion. Acting as the voice of the ANC he was involved in shaping responses to key national issues. Kodwa's communication skills were evident as he navigated complex political debates, notably during the ANC's internal structural changes. His impact was felt in how he communicated the party's objectives, 
ensuring both transparency and alignment with the ANC's core mission. Controversies and legal issues. ZZ Kodwa's career has not been devoid of challenges. He faced allegations of corruption, which culminated in a high profile bribery case linked to his involvement with AO Holdings. Accusations centered on accepting significant bribes for influencing contract awards, leading to his resignation from several political roles. Despite the initial charges, the National Prosecuting Authority recently withdrew all claims, exonerating him from legal culpability. Lifestyle ZZ Kodwa's lifestyle reflects a unique blend of public engagement and personal interests that paint a picture of a well-rounded individual. His commitments outside the political arena are just as noteworthy as his service to the state, offering insight into who he is beyond the public eye. Public Appearances and Influence Zizi Kodwa maintains a robust public presence, often seen participating in significant events and social gatherings. Known for his articulate nature, he is a regular face at political forums and cultural events, where his opinions and strategies are keenly observed by both peers and the public. He has a knack for influencing discussions with his sharp insights, and his appearances often bring a certain gravitas to the events he attends. Whether it's a panel discussion on national sports development or a cultural festival, Kodwa's influence is apparent as he navigates these spaces with ease, using every opportunity to strengthen his public persona and further the initiatives he believes in. Personal Interests On a more personal note, Zizi Kodwa's interests reveal a man deeply engaged with culture and the arts. He enjoys music, particularly live performances, which aligns seamlessly with his former role as Minister of Sports, arts, and culture. His appreciation for theater and film suggests a love for storytelling and creativity that perhaps inspires his own narrative as a political figure. Books hold a special place in his leisure activities, offering him a retreat into diverse worlds and ideas. Additionally, his newfound interest in fine art showcases a layer of sophistication and a desire for continual learning. These pursuits not only reflect his personality but also demonstrate an individual who values the intersection of culture, intellect, and personal growth. Net worth and financial status. Zizi Kodwa's financial footprint is as multifaceted as his career in South African politics. His economic standing reflects not only his earnings as a government official but also the ways in which he has utilized his expertise and influence to bolster his financial status. Sources of income. Zizi Kodwa's primary income stream comes from his long-standing role as a politician within the African National Congress, ANC. As Minister of Sports, Arts, and Culture, he drew a salary commensurate with his responsibilities, a position that undoubtedly commands significant financial recognition. Beyond his ministerial duties, he has served in other capacities within the ANC enhancing his income through various political roles such as the acting ANC spokesperson. Outside of politics, Kodwa has reportedly engaged in consulting and strategic communications, leveraging his background in communications to guide organizations and initiatives within his sphere of influence. While public records don't elaborate on personal business ventures or investments, like many of his peers, diversified income streams often exist beyond the public's gaze. Comparative Wealth Comparing Zizi Kodwa's net worth with other South African politicians reveals an intriguing picture. Although exact figures regarding his net worth aren't readily available, industry estimates often place many mid-level politicians within a modest yet comfortable economic bracket. Compared to prominent figures like Cyril Ramaphosa, whose wealth is bolstered by substantial business interests, Kodwa's financial standing is relatively moderate. In the broader spectrum, Kodwa's net worth might not reach the heights of South Africa's business tycoons turned politicians but stands as a testament to a career defined by public service. The disparity in wealth among South African politicians often underscores the contrast between those with business acumen and those primarily entrenched in public service, illustrating a divide shaped by entrepreneurial ventures versus governmental duties. Achievements and Contributions Zizi Kodwa's journey in politics has been marked by a tapestry of notable achievements and meaningful contributions that resonate across South Africa. His efforts, particularly in the realms of culture and politics, have crafted a legacy of influence and leadership. Awards and Recognitions Zizi Kodwa's role in the development of South African arts and sports has not gone unnoticed. Under his leadership, he established the South African Creative Arts Awards, 
a pioneering venture aimed at celebrating and uplifting local talent across various creative sectors. These awards serve as a hallmark of excellence and acknowledgement for creative professionals, akin to the Grammys and Oscars. Furthermore, his involvement in the 17th Annual South African Sport Awards highlights his commitment to fostering sportsmanship and recognizing athletic achievements in the country. By effectuating systems that celebrate both artistic and athletic talent, Kodwa has created platforms that elevate public recognition and honor the nation's standout figures in these fields. Impact on South African Politics In the political arena, Zizi Kodwa's impact has been profound. His tenure as the Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture was marked by initiatives that enhance South Africa's cultural landscape, striving for inclusivity and broader representation. Through strategic communication as the ANC spokesperson, he played an instrumental role in navigating the party's public image during critical periods. Despite the hurdles, including allegations of corruption which were later dismissed, his career reflects a journey through the tumultuous waters of South African politics. His ability to address complex social issues while maintaining public confidence demonstrates his resilient political acumen. Some might liken his political journey to a tightrope walk, balancing public perception with strategic governance that continually influences contemporary South African politics. Zizi Kodwa's journey in South African politics is a tale of resilience and strategic influence. From his roots in Gugulathu to the corridors of power in Pretoria, he has crafted a narrative of dedication and impact. His lifestyle reflects a balance of public engagement and personal passions. The net worth he has amassed stands as a symbol of his commitment to both his career and his ideals. Kodwa's achievements in arts and culture have left a mark that will inspire future generations. His challenges only highlight his unwavering resolve in public service. As South Africa evolves, his narrative will remain a benchmark for aspiring leaders. Readers are invited to reflect on how public figures navigate the complex interplay between duty and personal interest. Consider the influence of cultural and political contributions in shaping a nation's identity. Share your thoughts or insights on how leaders can balance these elements effectively in today's dynamic landscape.